is called bebop. Melodies and rhythms, ways of playing and feeling, born decades ago in the dark corners of big city clubs. Today, in one dark corner of New York, pianist Barry Harris holds bebop in his hands. The last master of a musical style that he says is the essence of jazz. I'm still what you would consider a bebopper. You know, so that's me. Can't do any better. Can't do any different. The Jazz Cultural Theater in Lower Manhattan. Harris's club and his mission. It's here where he fights to preserve the traditions of jazz by remembering and teaching. You gotta, you gotta watch that time. Man, you really mess up that time, watch. If you came out of a... No, all my life I fell. You gotta be in time. Harris reveres the past. His greatest memories are of the legendary jazz musicians, names most people today would not even recognize. We'll do it again. By day, at the keyboard, a devotion to teaching jazz classics. Cool. cool. What happened to cool? Cool. By night, on stage, an obsession with playing the classics. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think. I don't like what I hear. You people cannot play. If you're going to call this music, I'm going to insist that it's not jazz. It's going to be jazz according to tradition. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. Other places, there are a lot of places for you to go and play that kind of music. You go to those places. This is going to be a jazz house, bebop, because our stars here and have to pay the rent here. And I'm not going to tolerate one thing in here that I don't dig. In an age of music superstars, Barry Harris still struggles to be heard. Our music doesn't have much exposure, and we really are uh, what you call the underprivileged right now. The underdog, I'll say. You know, people used to go for underdogs. They don't too much nowadays like they used to. Most people say nowadays they don't like jazz. And some of them never even heard you play.